everybody, I'm Lady Red, and this is Lady Red's Tech Reviews. Today I have an unboxing for you, the Moto G Play. Brand new and available at Cricut Wireless. So, stay here, leave a like on the video if you enjoy the content, drop a comment if you have any questions, and as always, ring the bell. Subscribe and ring that bell and get all the notifications for the new videos. Alright, so today we're going to take a quick look and unbox the Moto G Play, brand new to the Cricut Wireless lineup. For pricing and availability, please contact your local retailer. They will not be included in this video. And for the full specs for this phone, please stay to the very end of the video. There will be a full spec list at the end of the video. Today, we're just going to take it out. Fire it up, take a look at it, and see what the Moto G Play is all about. This is not an in-depth review. It's an unboxing. We're just going to take a quick look at it. So, without further ado, let's take a look. All right, right here we have the Moto G Play, brand new to the Cricut lineup. 4G LTE Octa-Core Android smartphone with 6.5-inch Max Vision HD Plus display. Up to three-day battery, 5,000 milliamps per hour. 13 megapixel dual camera system and a fingerprint reader. So let's get it out and take a look. This is my first look at the Moto G Play. I'm super excited for it because we know I love a Motorola. All right, there's your SIM card. Comes with every Cricut branded device. Volume one of stuff people don't read. Your SIM key, you'll need this to get your SIM card and micro SD card in it. Volume two of stuff people don't read. Volume three, more stuff people don't read. And we have a monster charging block here. There is your charger. And we have, let's see, there it is, Type-C charging, of course. All right, so here we have the device. It has a very nice weight to it, and I do like a bit heavier phone. Uh, I have terrible luck with phones that are too light. They fall out of my hand too easy. Gives you something to hang on to when you have a good, weighty device. All right, so... Nice blue color. We love Motorola blue around here. We have a Cricut Tramp stamp. That is your fingerprint scanner and your dual camera system and the flash. Right here is the SIM tray. Many people have asked in videos, how do you put the SIM card in? You get your SIM key, put it in that little hole right there, and you'll feel the switch. If you have a hard time getting a hold of it, this is a little trick I have here in the store. Use the SIM key. Pull it out. And this is for your SIM card and micro SD card. All right. And we have a microphone. Charging port and bottom firing speaker. Over here, your power and your volume rocker, and on top, a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and another microphone. And on the front, you will see your speakers right up here, right there at the top, and there is your camera. So, let's fire it up. Okay, so we've got it all set up now, and we're going to take a quick look and uh, just see what it's all about. So, let's take a quick, super fast look. All right, right off the bat, I see a lot of crap coming into this phone. Mobile services is a demon. We're going to take that out. And now we have this discover bar. We're also going to take that out too. And um, down here you can still see, you know, stuff's downloading. So let's look in the settings. Network and internet. You can see this phone is Wi-Fi calling enabled and hotspot is available if it is included in your plan. NFC is not available with this device. 
you want to check your battery usage, this is where you would do that. Display. This is, you can also turn on dark theme, uh, the nightlight, adaptive, adaptive brightness, and that just adapts and it regulates your screen brightness depending on the ambient light of your environment. Full screen, peak display. I love peak display. A lot of people don't like it, but I do. Um, that is when, you know, your screen may be off and you get a text. If it's on silent or not, it's going to show an icon on the screen. And uh, you can just slide up on it and see the alert. Screen timeout. If you want to change it from one minute to two minutes, that's where you would do that. Auto rotate. We keep that off for now. Saturated colors. Font size. If... Uh, you need to make it bigger or smaller for the purpose of this video we're going to make it just a little bit bigger screen saver lock screen display if you want to regulate and control what notifications you get on your lock screen this is where you would do that attentive display that's pretty handy especially if you like to do a lot of reading on your phone screenshot toolkit you can edit your screenshot as soon as you take it you can uh change the colors on it, crop it out, whatever you'd like to do. Three finger screenshot, probably one of my favorite Motorola features. All right, moving right along. This is where you would adjust your volumes. Um, you could have your call volume, ring volume, and alarm volume all at different levels. Vibrate for calls. Do not disturb. All of that is available right here where you change your notification and alarm and ringtones. You can check your storage here. As you can see, we have a total of 32 gigs of storage. And again, the full specs for this video are going to be at the very, very end. Uh, privacy, location, security. And you can see what is available here. Um, fingerprint and face unlock are available with this device. Now what we're going to do is go through the free downloaded built-in apps, also known as bloatware, to take one of these out. Now you're going to have a lot of games installed, a total of 65. So we're going to start here. This is how you remove an app that you don't want. Okay, and Chrome sends a lot of funky notifications to a lot of phones. So to turn those off, just like that. And we're going to move right along. You're going to see a lot more bloatware. Discover Bar, I do recommend taking this out as soon as you get your phone. And we're going to move right along down here. There is a little demon known as mobile services. And in every unboxing, I show you how to take this out, how to turn it off. You can't take it completely out of your phone, but you will want to definitely turn it off. What you're going to do down here, mobile data and Wi-Fi, deny that permission for background data. And then you're going to turn off all the permissions. And then you're going to turn off the notifications and then disable it. It's very important that you do that because this app mobile services is a demon and it will certainly interfere with the proper functioning of your phone. You'll see a lot of new bloatware has come into these phones. I do recommend taking them out. Newsbreak, another one that will drive you absolutely insane with constant notifications at all times of day and night. And that is what we're dealing with here. Now this is near to stock Android. The scoop, that is another one you will definitely want to turn off because it will throw um, kind of a, a lock screen on here, a secondary lock screen that you're going to have to go around. So definitely want to disable the scoop. And there you go. And with gestures, you have the notification, the navigation bar down here. Flick it up just like that. Okay. There are, there's your basic usage, you know, for your app list. 
whatever you've got in your phone. And one thing I do like about Motorola is um, some LGs, you know, when you slide them to the top of the screen, it just turns the app off. It actually does uninstall them here. It really does perform an uninstall. We're going to go back and take a look. That was Tune Blast. So that's going to be way down here. And you can see it is in fact gone. I'm going to show you how to go back. We're going to open Chrome. We're not going to put a Google account on it just yet. Okay, so there's Chrome. And now we're going to open YouTube. So this phone is pretty fast. You know, this is a lot faster than the Moto E5 Cruise, for example. So if that's what phone you're rocking right now and you want to upgrade, this might be a good idea for you. Now to go back to the previous app, you can go this way and just pick it up from there. Or you can do that. This is maybe one of my favorite things. And this is your back button. Just click it. Just like that. And of course you have your Google News feed right here. And then back to the home screen. And let's see. There's your camera. So here is your zoom capability right here. And there's going to be your basic navigation for your camera. What you want to turn off your timers, active photos, screen ratio. There's a few more of your features. You've got portrait, which is great. Cutout, spot color, panorama, live filter, and pro mode. And then down here for your videos, you've got slow motion and time lapse. Let's check the settings. Here's your choices for the rear camera. That's your main camera back here. 4x3, 16x9, or 20x9. Whatever you'd like it to be. Resolution, 13 or 8. And then down here, you've got your photo size. Um... Uh, this is for the selfie cam. You've got a 5 megapixel selfie cam with 4x3, video size, full HD, or the 20 by 9 Selfie photo mirror, tap anywhere to capture, shutter sound, assisted grid, leveler, keep last mode, watermark, on or off, um, auto smile, gesture selfie. These are all great features that I am so very happy to see in a bunch of phone. A lot of times you have to go up to a mid-range or even a flagship to get features like this. So I'm really glad that I'm seeing this in a budget phone. Okay, now we're going to switch back to photo. And now you don't have the wide angle or the macro. That ain't bad, y'all. That is not bad at all, considering this is a budget phone. That is our quick look at the Moto G Play. Stay tuned for the very end of this video. Coming right behind this is the full specs, and uh, you can take a look at it there and see if this is maybe your next phone. I'm Lady Red. Thank you so much for watching. Now let's check out the spec screen.